Shanghai is a dazzling city. Its residents live in modern high-rise buildings. The Shanghai model of development is embraced by other aspiring global cities in Asia and beyond. However, not every resident has benefited from this rapid progress. The percentage of urban residents in China without access to sanitation grew from 3% to 6% between 1990 and 2008. In old neighbourhoods, people still use night pots and empty them at central waste collection stations. Now in his late 70s, Mr Fu remembers when households collected waste in terracotta jars with airtight seals. These were placed in the street their contents collected in the early mornings, transported to the closest canal and shipped to the countryside. There, human waste was used as organic fertiliser to grow more food for urban residents. This has changed in recent decades. Less ecologically sustainable methods of waste treatment have been adopted. As a result, China struggles with water scarcity and its increasing dependence on imported artificial fertiliser. This transition has implications for family ties and social relations. Take Mrs Wong. Her children are white-collar professionals and live far away in modern high-rise buildings. She is too old to make her journey to their homes and they no longer come to visit because they find it impossible to cope with night pots and the lack of a flush toilet. Next door, Mr Jiang points at the night pot in the centre of his shed. You eat here and you shit here. Same place. Diverging everyday practices of personal hygiene are situated at the core of urban socio-spatial differentiation inequality, exclusion and discrimination. Sanitation is an axis that links the individual and the social.